everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing a little bit of experimenting with trucks now this truck we got here is my personal truck it's a 2016 chevy silverado 1500 it's got the 5.3 liter ecotech v8 six speed automatic with 342 rear end and now this truck has 315 horsepower with 383 pound feet of torque Work and the tow rating on it is rated at 9,100 pounds. Now, when race season begins in late April, early May, this truck unfortunately will be going to the body shop because of some rust that's developing on the rockers and it's trying to start on the cab corners. And in this day and age, when you really don't want to spend extra money. On another vehicle to use temporarily what do you do well today here's what we're going to be experimenting with this is my wife's rig this is a 2022 chevy colorado four-wheel drive z71 now this has a 3.6 liter v6 with an eight-speed automatic and it's rated at 308 horsepower with 275 pound-feet of torque eight-speed automatic but similar to my Silverado it's got 342 rear end in it so what are we doing today I don't know how well you can hear but in the garage we got one of the race cars up and running and what we're gonna do is we're gonna load the car up onto the our trailer that we're using we're using a 2012 finish line Challenger series 18 foot manual tilt bed with And it's got a pair of 3,500 pound axles. So what we're going to do, we're going to load the car onto the trailer and we're going to do a round trip from here to our home track, Adams County Speedway and back. We're probably going to be looking around a 50 mile round trip just to see how well the Colorado can handle. Now I know most people are going to say, oh, it should handle it, no problem. And I'm sure some would say, oh, that's, that might be testing out a little pickup. Well, we're going to put it to the test today. So let's get everything loaded up and let's get on the road. Alrighty, we got the car loaded up. Now this is a Chevy Cavalier. Without me in it, it's probably in the neighborhood between 2,300 and 2,350 pounds. Got her all strapped down. So we'll so let's get hopped in the Colorado here and get on the open road and see how she does. Okay, so as you can see, the truck's got a little, a little over 11,000 miles on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our tow haul mode. And let's get going. Alrighty, we're getting ready for our first hill test with the truck we'll see how well she does and I got my information screen on the transmission fluid temperature and so far she's doing all right Film, the truck is doing actually pretty well. Definitely gonna have a few few more hills to test with between here and the track, so but right now the Colorado is holding her own right now. You can see the car's 
still there. And we are on the open road. right now I'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised I mean granted we're not hauling everything we would need to go to the track with we're just we're just kind of doing a base test with hauling just the car and see how well the truck does and we can kind of judge from there but so far yeah the Colorado is doing pretty well so far Back up and going, and luckily it's a little bit of a downhill before we go back and 
to a slight uphill and I think I can't remember if it was after this one or the next one and there's mm, going to be a little bit of a steep mm, there's going to be kind of a steep uphill up to 116 shortly after after that last pause that we did but so far she's not complaining and we are coming up on corning over here and we'll see you when we get closer to the track Alrighty, we have made it to Adams County Speedway. Take a look at temps. Everything looks good so far. Here's to see what kind of mileage it did. 14.3 MPG. Now, we did fuel the truck up before we left town. Forgot to mention that. But, yeah, so far the little Colorado is done quite well everything's holding tough so far the journey over here I gotta say I'm actually pretty impressed with this little Colorado did a good job and now here in a little bit we'll turn around and head back home but while we're here we'll show off my home track here of Adams County Speedway that's where you get to get signed in to go down into the pits and of course our grandstands here started coming here as a fan in 2008, watching races. And I got to help him for one of the locals here, here in the pits in 2013, 2017. 2017, I started my own little race team and right now the rest is just history. You can see the little blockade over there. This is about where start finish line is. Probably updating the scoring. So right here, this is the entrance to the track and kind of the exit of turn four here. The pit area. And yeah. So that's kind of the glimpse of Adams County Speedway here and 
Now we'll hop back in the Colorado, turn around and head home. Okay, we're gonna go from a dead stop to an uphill. Stopped at the track. The training tab did go up a little. Did go up a bit. This hill's going up a little bit, but I think it should be fine. And if not, I'm certain. I'm sure somebody in the comments will correct me on it. impressing me pretty well so far. Now we got now we're gonna have some more hill test here in these next few miles here. I 
know this truck isn't going through a real tough test. And if I'm just trying to keep in mind of the truck's limitations and what it can do and what it can do. I would say the one channel that I would definitely have them say I have learned quite a bit when it comes to the when it comes to like truck payloads and what it can handle would be the channel TFL truck. When they're I mean when they're testing their trucks, they're a mile above sea level out there in Colorado and they got some definitely bigger percentage of hill grades to really test those trucks on brand new. But so far here in southwest Iowa, the, this little Colorado is handling this base load here with the Cavalier very well actually, I, I would say. just only hauling the car and given some other factors of what else we'll probably be hauling to the track I would probably say it would probably take on another thousand to worst case scenario 1500 pounds of stuff which would also include a four wheeler that will probably haul to the track for the first time ever but just kind of going just kind of going off on how well it's handling just the car itself. I would say it is doing pretty well. And I know when we got this truck, I, I've, I've had a few people ask me, so, you're, so are you going to use this truck to all the race car to the track with and then and at the beginning I said no well mainly because this is the one and also the fact that I wasn't sure if hauling the race car with with all my spare stuff and tools was going to be pushing it for this truck so far I would have to say no See, I don't think it's really going to be pushing it. I mean, she's saying... I think she can do the job. So we're going to put this down, and we'll meet you guys when we get back home. Alrighty, so we've made it back home. Car still on the trailer. And I would say... All the stuff is looking good on her. Let's see what kind of mileage it did. Round trip. 49 and a half miles, 14.4 MPG. I gotta say, fairly impressed. Fairly impressed indeed. Okay, so in comparing with the two trucks, I know that set the, I know the Silverado set the benchmark on how well it would do and I've always been impressed with the Silverado but I gotta say that little Colorado I'm definitely very thoroughly impressed with it I mean I mean she doesn't squat mm, she doesn't squat bad at all mm, it handled the hills like a champ I mean the I mean the truck knew that the car was back there but overall, I would definitely give this a little pick up a thumbs up. Now, 
Now you always gotta remember, you gotta, gotta remember the limits your truck can do. Would I say, would it be able to handle like a hobby stock or a stock car to haul to the track? I would say no. I mean, the truck is rated to tow up to 7,000 pounds, but if you got the the little 2.8 four-cylinder Duramax that that generation came with, it'll only get it'll only get you about another 700 more pounds of towing. But if you're hauling like a compact with a few spare tires and tools and stuff like that, I would say I would of a truck. Like especially of this generation of Colorado, can definitely do the job, and mm, kind of factor how much mm, tools and stuff you would need. I'd say these Colorados can definitely do it to haul uh, your sport compact to the track. And I would say maybe if you have a, like an enclosed trailer, like a small enclosed trailer for those guys that run like mod lights or mini mods. A truck like this would be perfect. So that'll probably do it for us here on the channel today. I figured, figured was doing this kind of test today. I figured I'd bring you guys along with the trip. So thanks to everybody that, that watches. And if you decide to subscribe, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.